Hello, everybody, and happy Halloween. <laughs> Welcome to another Boozy Tuesday, the Boozy Botanical Podcast. My name is Holly. And I'm Coach Steve. <laughs> and this is the Boozy Botanical Podcast. <laughs> I can't oh do an accent. <laughs> I can just do what? That's all I can do. Okay. Do you watch Big Mouth? What, what is it? Do you watch Big <laughs> Do you watch Big Mouth? No. Oh my god, you have to watch it. I was like, Josh, I do not know if Holly watches Big Mouth. It's a cartoon on Netflix, it's an adult cartoon. Oh, and cute. it's about these middle schoolers going through puberty. And they have a PE coach named Coach Steve, and this is what he looks like. Oh my god, that's awesome. You look so, so me- good. <laughs> Oh my God, I literally did this in the last half hour. I did not have a costume. <laughs> but Let you me... went for it. You went Girl, all out. This is, have you ever seen this cartoon, this person? This is Coach Steve. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my gosh. That's Coach Steve. <laughs> oh, you look adorable. <laughs> <His> little whistle. <laughs> I don't look adorable, but you look adorable. I look like a mad scientist. Well, you know what? There's a lot of effort on your part. <laughs> the power of eyeliner, let me tell you. <laughs> so, okay, so oh. before we talk drinks, and just so you guys know, this is the Hallow Leaves episode. Yeah, we, uh, we wanted to let this episode come out later in the week so it was closer to the holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really quick, before we get into everything, Holly, I just feel like I should explain myself. I w- <laughs> was feeling really bad because – as I will tell you for my update of the week. Okay. Um, you know a little bit already, but I got stranded and wasn't able to get home on time yesterday yes. from Arizona. Yes. So I didn't have time to go to like Total Wine or BevMo and do a really Halloween themed drink. Got like it. That's, okay. I was like, I was like, it's not a big deal, but it was something I'd wanted to do. So I was like, man, now not only do I not have a costume lined up, I don't have a drink either. But I knew I had a wig from when I was Wilma and J- and Josh was Fred from the Flintstones. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just throw that wig on and figure it out. And then I'm at work today with the little baby I take care of. She's like mm-hmm. a year and a half. And her parents are my absolute favorite. They're so oh, nice. And is like, this the new job? Oh, gosh. No, I didn't get that. I'll have to update you. <laughs> I, um, I did a three-day trial for that early morning gig that I told you all about. Yes. And then I guess there was still another nanny in the running and she better fit their needs is what I was told. I was like, I was like, is this because I accidentally set your Moroccan towel on fire 10 minutes into the job the first day? Cause maybe that's why I wasn't hired. (laughs) It was such an accident and I replaced it and like, mom was super nice about it, but was still that, that could have done it. Oh, so I, I can't be upset. It's fine. But um, the were the job. Do you remember the little baby? I think I might have shown you her. She's blonde, um, and her family lives like three minutes from me in Burbank. And I was always their backup nanny for oh, the last few months. Yeah, maybe. I'll I'll show you her later. I don't want to like say her name on air or anything, <laughs> yeah, but course. she's really cute. Aww. And her parents are just like this cool young couple. And like we happen to watch all the same shows, and we get references that we all talk about. They're like just Aww. really fun to work with. And I was at work today, and I guess her grandparents were in town, and they brought her some. Wig- to play with okay oh, my, my like freaking okay there we go my um <laughs> this thing the microphone was being weird and there was like a raggedy ann red wig and so i asked if i could borrow it because i was like i'll just use some red lipstick and black right. eyeliner to make her features and then her mom was like you know we have a halloween box what this is like okay so I know it's late. It's three hours later for you. This was like th- two hours ago, maybe. Oh my goodness. I got off like an hour ago and I was like, I want to see the Halloween box. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look, he, has, he has three uh, chest hairs, too. I, I was going <laughs> to ask you if that's a professional. <laughs> if you guys are watching on YouTube, you'll see she has, Angelique has three lines <laughs> that represent chest hair. <laughs> Hashtag daddy alert. <laughs> Yes, then, daddy. <laughs> please, daddy, please. 
<laughs> but then um, I was like, sure. So her, so I guess like the <laughs> parents had a lull in work. So they brought out the Halloween box and they were not kidding. They do like themed costumes every year. <laughs> and just so you know, Holly, in Big Mouth, there's this thing called the hormone monster. Oh, and it's like, it's the idea that when you hit puberty, you're assigned a hormone monster <laughs> to be your consultant to get you through puberty. It's <laughs> so funny. Oh my- one of them, the, the female, the monstrous is played by Maya Rudolph. It's so oh, nice. funny. So <laughs> the mom and dad a few years ago, the dad went as Coach Steve. So this was his wig. And then the mom went, there's an old hormone monster. He talks like this and he's like falling apart. And he's uh-huh. supposed to advise this poor little 11 year old on puberty. But he's really <laughs> old and gross. And she, the mom was him. Oh my like, God, that is awesome. Like. Yes. Oh my God. So this People is. People need to see if, if they're dumb like me and they don't know anything. No, you're not dumb. I dare you to watch this later. It's yes. so funny. Season one's like good. I watch. I think you'd like it. Season one was good. Season two had a lull. Season three was great. And really? I haven't watched season four yet. Yeah. So I would say push through season two. But this is the okay. original Hormone Monster. <laughs> Jesus. And then this is the Monstrous that played by Maya Rudolph. Look at her tits. They're huge. <laughs> and this is the old one. <laughs> oh, scary. <laughs> but yeah. So I was like, oh my God, I watch Big Mouth too. And they were like, try it on. I tried it on. We all laughed so hard. And I was like, can I borrow this wig instead? <laughs> and then I just went home and I drew on the features. Oh, and they, they even funny. had a yeah. And I happened to have a blue shirt from a short film I did. Oh my God, perfect. Here we are. <laughs> Dude, Holly, would you like to tell the audience? Tell the audience what you are. You look so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am a black cat. Ah, you're I'm- like little bug. <laughs> yeah, yes. Or or Fitzy. I was like, oh, Fitzy, I'm you for Halloween. But I don't oh. know. <laughs> I'm so cute. I swear, though, I've always been a black cat when I'm not prepared for Halloween. Me and too. then plants. It's just like the most like basic girl like costume like i don't want to say so basic. easy like I i'm a little so chug. i'm chuggy i'm basic i don't care i'm yeah. here <laughs> i love it i was um i wanted to be a black cat one year just because i was like it's what you do when halloween comes around and you don't have anything it's so easy as a anyone male or female to just be a cat yeah so i went to the store and all i could find were i think cheetah print ears so i bought them and then i sharpied them on to make them more look more, more like tiger stripes oh my or god I did, I did either tiger stripes or i did leopard i forgot what i did okay and yeah then, but i wanted to be a black cat but i couldn't i was thinking of just doing a cat this year and i How couldn't funny. find my ears anywhere and oh then no. i went to the dollar store so i went to the dollar store after work they got rid of all their halloween stuff early and threw in the christmas stuff oh not it's like how dare you guys it's for us last minute queens who need something in a pinch <laughs> yes like what are you doing to me 99 cent store like hello you're supposed to be high quality Wait, <laughs> walmart though right high quality oh. my walmart still has a bunch of stuff so that's where these came from <laughs> i would have loved to go to walmart but i would not have made it on time i, I already know. had to push this recording a half hour I needed some time for my brows. <laughs> That's okay. Oh my gosh. Well, you look amazing. If you guys are listening, just watch this on YouTube because you look at a lot. <laughs> we'll gonna... definitely post a clip too so you can see the two of us. I think, honestly, I think we should dress up at least once a month now that I've seen so this. Fun. <laughs> yeah, we should do it. Like, I'm here for it. I think it's so funny. It's it's also okay. So, guys, sorry. I know we have to start. I'll let you know what we're drinking in a sec. But um, I texted Josh on the way home because he asked me to pick up his Starbucks over order. And I was like, you'll never guess what my costume is for tonight. And he's like, costume. I didn't even tell him we were doing this episode. I guess I thought I did. I was like, yeah, a hollow leaves episode. Like, you'll never guess. And then I came home and he I thought he was gonna pass out when he saw me because I only had the wig on. I hadn't done the makeup oh yet. God. And he was laughing so hard. And I <laughs> and um oh my god. He was like, I thought it was plant related. <laughs> nope. We're literally like Katie from Mean Girls who show up to the Halloween party and didn't yes. get the memo that you're supposed to be sexy or in this case plant related. We're like, but it's yeah. Halloween. 
dress up. That's literally what it's like. It's like the mean girl. I will say though, have you seen the variegated monstera um Halloween costumes? Because IKEA has no. like these variegated, like faux variegated monsteras, like plants. That's and so I saw someone on Facebook. No, it's like a, oh, it's like a plant. In the decor. I was like, that's way in more in the decor rare. section. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So this, I mean, I've, I've seen a few people do this now where it's like, it, like their um, pants are, it's like a pot and then coming from their shirt is the variegated monstera and then they're wearing like a long sleeve green shirt. So it's like, you're a potted plant. <laughs> That's <laughs> some really cute. cute. Too. There, I've also seen like string of pearls, like so many cute ones, but I've seen yeah. the babies as string of pearls. I know. And it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Well, well Holly, okay. I just saw you pick up a drink. What are you having tonight? Yes. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm very excited about my drink. I'm so festive today. And here's a little Look ASMR. Look at that. <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh my God, so I'm so excited. I've been going through this phase of being obsessed with, like, Starbucks cups, like, from Etsy. So I got a Hocus Pocus themed Starbucks cup and it says another glorious morning. Oh, and that's so cute. Sanderson sisters on it. And it says, um, again, I'm a big old chug. I don't care. <laughs> it says it's all <laughs> just a bunch of hocus pocus. And that so that's the so cup. Cute. Yeah, it's really, really cute. I love it. Um, and what is in the cup <laughs> oh, is no. So good. Okay, this is kind of like my holiday like drink. It is okay. a um, I don't even know what you call it, but all it is is um, like you could do bourbon or in this case whiskey with the Trader Joe's spiced cider, and it's so <gasps> good. Oh my gosh, it's so thematic. That's so cool. <laughs> it's oh. so yummy. We we went to Trader Joe's actually because we were trying to go and like get a bunch of their pumpkin stuff. Which FYI, our Trader Joe's is all it's out an hour away, right? <laughs> it's they're out of all their pumpkin stuff though. So they did have oh. this, which is like not pumpkin, but it's like fall theme. <laughs> Right, you're like this. This this is as close as we're gonna get. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> I was a little too excited to share my drink. No, I am so here for it. And I knew you were coming with a themed drink, and I was like, damn, <laughs> I really wanted to do something. But I went to the dollar store, like I said. I was looking for a mustache, and I'm kind of glad I didn't find one because his mustache is very big, like this. So drawing it ended up being better. Wait, the but way <laughs> my goal was to find like a skull drinking cup like you know they had the yes. glass ones sometimes yes i had to go into the fall section they kept the fall section but they got rid of halloween so i just got an orange mason jar really cute it's like an extra nothing one. else yeah it's, really it's, a, it's a fat boy i, I like my chubs so, <laughs> <laughs> and i i literally had nothing holly i wanted to like mix something up i have alcohol i just don't have any mixers and i can't you guys, it is 5.30 over here. I cannot be downing straight vodka right now. And I barely eat bourbon today. neat. <laughs> yes, yes. I was like, I'm not neat today. Mm -mm. So I just, I'm just finishing up my skinny margarita. So hey, margarita that's really neat. Exactly. I was like, I'm just okay. so skinny. <laughs> as, a, um, as an old man, so skinny. <laughs> yes, right. I'm still working it. Dude, mm -hmm. Coach Steve starts dating in the show. You should you, – I can't wait for you to watch it. It's so funny. I think I, I will end up watching it because, like, we love, like, South Park. Um, what was oh, the one right, it'll be right up your alley. What was the – uh, BoJack or whatever? BoJack Horseman. Yes. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of BoJack. Let me know what you think. Um, I It's very funny. Uh, nice. Some people were thrown off because they're middle schoolers and they don't have little kid voices, but – they're oh, all really no. good comedians. Okay. Really good. So I, I, think it, I think it's funny. I think it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. Oh, oh, I'm so excited for this episode, uh, though. I'm really excited. Holly, how are you? How have you been these last few weeks? I feel like we literally have not had a conversation since our last recording. I know. It's insane. We've, like, filled each other in because, as you guys will soon hear, we've both had some interesting travel, like, experiences. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How you go first? Let's talk. That's my update too. Is the travel okay? Stuff. Well, before we, before I go on, I just have to say if my voice is a little scratchy or if you hear a little cough here and there, I'm trying to mute my coughs. But way I'm, better than what, when we were we were going to record last week, and you're I like, know. I can't. I know. <laughs> so 
I was in Mexico um, along with Tyson. We were there for like our family YouTube channel that we work on and it was beautiful. It was awesome, but I ended up getting like a cold and now I did not have COVID, thank God, because you do have to get tested to get back into the U.S. So I was right. like, oh, no. I was like, great. Stranded in Mexico. <laughs> I know. I literally told Tyson, I was like, because I was like so sick, you guys. I was like, oh, my gosh, I was dying. I'm like, if I test positive, would you stay with me? <laughs> oh, he's like, no. Hi. Oh, <laughs> But no, it wasn't. It was literally, I think, honestly, what it is was, like, the drastic change in, um, like, not temperature, but environment, I guess you could say. Because, yeah. like, we, you know, so Tyson and I went to Arizona for a wedding, and then we flew back home to Florida. Then two like days. Day, right? Yeah. Well, and the crazy thing is, too, when I was in Arizona, I had a sore throat for, like, two days. And then I was totally fine. So I think my body just like didn't have enough time to like recover fully. So then right. when we we flew like a red eye home and anyway, so <laughs> all that to say, I was like, I think just very tired. Like by the time we got to Mexico, it was beautiful though. Like <clears throat> Mexico was so cool. I had actually never been when That's I was right. And you, I know and you're, like, you're Mexican. I know. <laughs> So exciting. It was so sweet because so many of so okay, we stayed at a resort and so many of the locals who work there would be like, hablas espanol. And I'm like, oh, thank you for thinking I speak Spanish. Not just assuming I'm white and don't know anything. <laughs> I was like asking, you know, my my other family, I'm like, has anyone else asked you guys? They're like, nope, just you. They they know that they, they can feel it in their veins. Yeah. <laughs> but I was able to communicate like very like little bit and that was so awesome and even Tyson can communicate like like a fair amount you know in Spanish yeah. so the cool highlight though about this trip was we actually saw a sea turtle laying her eggs in the daytime oh my god it's very rare yeah. because we usually do it at night but we happen to just be walking on the beach and we're like what is that thing like picking up sand and we're like oh my god it's a turtle so it's a, the other amazing thing it was this resort because i guess they get a lot of turtles that lay their eggs like right on the beach like by their resort yeah what they do is they actually collect the eggs and will incubate them and then release them by the time they're old enough because it's just too busy of a spot and it's too small of a spot to like really um allow them to do it on its own because what we did was like we saw the turtle lay her eggs and we tried to put like sticks around and we told a bunch of people like hey be careful this is where the turtle you know we're trying to be very respectful of nature there's um, a turtle here people there's a turtle okay <laughs> but Aww. it's just so cool that the resort does that and on top really of it cool. all they that same night were releasing 400 baby turtles got and we got to see the release yeah they, they were run they were like, oh so cute oh my god and they, they said like it? yeah oh, they god. did i was being so and dude there were so many people i'm like dude like like you know they drew a line they're like be very like careful like and you know everyone was like pretty good about it and they said like okay you can you can hold one because I'm like okay I don't know like what the like do we touch them do we not touch them they're like no you can like you can help them and so I got to do that and it was really to help cool. a turtle get to the ocean yes. yeah. it was so sweet it was honestly the most magical experience That's um special. that yes that and snorkeling so had you snorkeled before I had actually, yes. So it was like my second time snorkeling and I was happy because um, the the water was very calm because it was the last day we were leaving. And so I'm like, okay, I, we got to go snorkeling. Um, and there was so many fish, dude. Like it was so pretty. Oh, that's um, so nice. But the water was, um, like I said, it was calm, but it still ended up like throwing you into the rocks a little bit. So I got like a little bit like, you know, like cut up a little, but yeah. Still oh, I saw your pose. <laughs> oh, yes. I was like low key, like, do I need stitches? But I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> and you're okay? Yes. Oh, good, good. <laughs> but yeah, 10 out of 10, great trip, minus being sick. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And how are you recovering? It's been like almost two weeks. You've been back, right? Almost? Um, a no, under. A little under a week, actually. Oh, oh my bad. I suck at math. <laughs> 
Okay, but you're sounding a lot better. Yes. I So, like, I was still coughing. Like, for me, like, every time I catch a cold, it starts with, like, a sore throat. Then it's, like, a runny nose. And then it's a yeah. cough for, like, two weeks. Right. So it's just, like, to be expected. But you I'm doing knew. a lot better. Thank good. you. Good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good. But we want to I... hear – Oh, sorry. No, please. It's just, it's, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say, we want to hear your crazy story oh before God. we get on to the hallow leaves. Because don't worry, guys. We'll get on to the hallow leaves. There but- are plants involved in this episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. Guarantee it. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I would mentioned it previously on the podcast, but I had a wedding that I was in. Um, the wedding was on October 24th. And... It was a ha- it was a Harry Potter themed wedding so cool. with some Star Wars accents. I learned on the, when I got there, it was nice. so much fun. It was my friends Casey and Jesse's wedding. They're the couple, and, and I was a bridesmaid. I moved the table. My bad. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I was a bridesmaid, and it was so awesome. Hot. Thank you so much. <laughs> I look just like this. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> You're like, oh, it was a big mouth theme wedding. <laughs> Oops. Oh my God. That would be a hilarious wedding, by the way. But um, it was so beautiful. It was so tasteful. They did, um, it was a very major family affair. There was only 60 people at the wedding and oh. tops. I don't even think everybody showed up. So it might have even been like 50 people. Wow. And the Bride, bride and groom's family did everything they can to make it affordable. So it was in his childhood backyard. Like it's his parents got that. Oh, it was their first home and only home together. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they built it and everything. And so their backdrop is the Catalina Mountains in Tucson. Gorgeous. Wow. With saguaros everywhere and lights and everything. Oh, and stunning. then. Yeah, and Jesse's mom is a professional harpist, so she played the harp throughout the ceremony. Oh my! And God. it was so cool. So I, I, I wish. I, yeah, I wish I had prepped it because they Facebook lived the wedding because a lot of family couldn't come oh, because of COVID. Yeah. yeah. So the harp starts playing, and it's the wedding march, like the dun dun dun. dun. It just gets oh, that far, and then it switches to it goes. Dun, 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 and it switches to the oh, Harry Potter theme song. Cute. It was so cool. And then the outro music when we were all walking back down the aisle was a Star Wars song. Aww. It was really cool because they're such nerds. So it was really fun. <laughs> yeah. So beautiful though. It was gorgeous. I don't know if you saw oh. some of my photos of like yeah, the decor. Yeah. So her stepmom has succulents and stuff from her garden. And she let me take some home, which was oh really nice. Goodness. She told me to do everything, terrariums and all. But I flew, so I couldn't take that much. Right. But um, so I only got to take one piece home. So every centerpiece was gold terrariums that were see-through. It was like gold edges with fairy lights and succulents in them. And then succulents all over the table with some other greenery. Oh and then that her stepmom's brother 3D printed Harry Potter symbols like the Deathly Hallows triangle oh, wow. and stuff like that. And they spray painted everything gold. Oh my goodness. It was, I love everything home. So I have little pieces from the tables as well. And wow. it was just all so beautiful. We all got a wand as like that held like our where we were sitting down, you know? Yeah. And then you know that thing, people they do you make like a tunnel and the bride and groom dance like they rug over, they run oh, under yeah. it back and forth. We did it with like holding wands up so and then the groomsmen. Yeah. So the groomsmen, um, the, the groom's gift to all of them was very well-made lightsabers that Whoa. lit up beautifully. And they had a lightsaber battle oh in the, during the reception. <laughs> That's that awesome. So funny and so good. It was just Aww. such a beautiful wedding, but it was on a Sunday, which kind of sucked as far as traveling home because Josh couldn't miss work on Monday. Yeah. And he started work at noon. So this is where the story comes in, guys. So yeah. we, um, Josh picked me up. He got up at like five in the morning, picked me up at about 530 from my parents' house um, in Tucson. And then we drove to Phoenix because our flight was in Phoenix. And oh then, goodness. yeah, because it was way cheaper. So um, because the directs Burbank to Phoenix are really cheap, but it's hard to get Burbank to t- Burbank to Tucson. You can get, but it's more expensive and you stop in Vegas. Got it. Oh, so, yeah. So there's no directs, but Josh's mom said they're going to start doing directs in December. So I have my fingers crossed. But we drive up, we make it about like 7 30, return the rental. Our flight, are we board at 9 30. So, like, we actually get to the airport early for once. We're just hanging out. Everything's great. And 
it's important to note that as we were driving on the Highway 10, I made a joke to Josh right before our exit. I was like, just keep going straight. Let's just drive home. And he was like, you're hilarious. Like, I have work. We're not doing that. Oh, and I was like, no. Obviously. And so we get to the airport. We board. It's only like 20 minutes behind our plane. So it's not a big deal. We're going to land at 1150 at Burbank. And Josh starts at 12. And it's like his job's not rude. Like, he could get there at 1230 and it was fine. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys know this, but apparently there's like a cyclone or something in the world. There was, I think, a tornado somewhere. It's been crazy storms on the West Coast pretty much. And we get on the plane and they're like, so there's going to be a bit of rain when we hit L.A., just so you guys know. And we're like, okay, as long as we get us home. And everything's like blue blue skies. And then I think we hit probably around like San Bernardino County. Like we're close to L.A. And like the atmosphere just changes. Oh, God. And we're like. Oh, no. And Josh and I couldn't even sit together because it was so what? full, the plane. Southwest doesn't assign seating. Oh, that's right. So we just like when we were group C. So by the time we went on, there were no two oh, seats together. So man. I'm in the window, third to last row. And he's in the very last row, oh, middle seat. Oh, no. Can you believe? Yeah. So then I'm looking out the window. He can barely see out the window, I think, as it is because there's someone else there. And then – it's getting darker and just getting cloudy and then rain starts pop like water precipitations like on my window and I'm like okay <laughs> and I'm looking at the flight tracker on my phone and it's like 10 minutes away eight minutes away seven minutes away and we're decreasing elevation as you should right and at one point the clouds clear just a little bit to where I see the tops of like the buildings of Air- Burbank airport and I'm like we're here. Yeah. And we're at about 5,000 elevation, which is very low. Yeah. As far as like landing goes. And I think the wheels even like, I don't think they came out, but they were close. Yeah. And we're, we're landing, we're decreasing. And all of a sudden it just goes, and we go, we like point towards the moon and go up so fast (laughs) without warning. Heads up, right? Like flight attendants prepare for not landing. (laughs) Right. We just went right back up into the sky and I just see the elevation go up and I'm like, <gasps> and I'm looking no. back and I'm like, are we dying? I'm not even next to him. <laughs> if we're going to die together, we need to sit next to each other. Right. I'm like trying to reach over and like, oh God, not to mention poor Josh is exhausted because he drove all the way to Phoenix. On oh, this. And, then, and like my head felt lightheaded because it's like that quick switch of elevation you know yes and then the pilot the pilot comes online and he's like on the inner whatever it's called and he's like all right guys can't see anything we're going to la i'm like excuse me for those of you that don't live in the la area you might be like aren't you in la already no burbank is in burbank which is la county i guess but it's has its own it has its own airport all of a sudden i look to i look to my left and there's an ocean below me and I'm like that was not there before oh, no. and then <laughs> it was more it was very cloudy no, at LA no. too, but they could <laughs> see yeah and so he books it over LA and we land in LA at LAX oh. and I'm like oh, that's God. such a shit show at LAX to be oh with. yeah okay guys people pay the extra money to fly out of Burbank to avoid this yes okay <laughs> Believe me, like it's sometimes 40 or 50 bucks to get an Uber from LAX to my house. So I'd rather put that money towards the ticket and be home in three minutes, like literally three minutes. That's how close I am to Burbank Airport. And especially with no lights, with lights, maybe four and a half. It's very close. So then we're sitting and like there's no open gates because they weren't expecting us. (laughs) We're just sitting on the runway. And then... They're like, so here's what happened, guys. And I'm like, okay, pilot, tell us. He's like, it was too cloudy. This rain is insane. Like, it was too dangerous to land. And I would have tried again. Like, we could have tried a different approach. However, we ran out of gas. Oh, God. Like, oh, we don't have fuel. Cool. Thanks. Thank you for landing us. I'm actually now very grateful that you didn't try again. Yeah. (laughs) He could have died. And then, um, so, I mean, obviously he was a good pilot. Like he knew right away, like I'm getting these people on the ground in LAX. Like he was, he did his job well. So then we're just sitting and finally a gate opens up and, but we're not on the fuel refuel list. So they have to squeeze us in somewhere. Turns out four more planes from Burbank show up. 
What? Burbank shut. Burbank canceled what? everything. That's it was so Burbank's like we're going home. Literally, Close and when business. <laughs> oh my god, guys! Long story short, they were like, "You can leave from LA, but if you checked in a bag, your bags are going back to Burbank." Oh, what the fuck? See, I was that's like, what I don't understand. That's ridiculous. Well, they didn't cancel our flight for three hours. We waited at LAX for about three hours on the plane. Because I, I, yeah, on the plane. I had to like ask for a drink even. Like nothing was happening. And it was oh. like the AC was off. It was getting hot. Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. And I told Josh, I was like, Josh, you're the one that has work in 10 minutes. This is like when we landed. <sighs> yeah. I was like, let's just hop on the bus, the flyaway, get to Van Nuys. Our friend Isaac will pick us up because he was at our house. He was ready to pick us up from Burbank. He had yeah. my car. I was like, I will go to Burbank and pick up our bags later. And he was like, you know what? No, like, let's just wait. And I was like, all right, it's your job. If you want to wait, that's fine. And so we waited for th- two or three hours. I think it was three. Yeah, it yeah, was three. You were at- me. I, I was telling Tyson this. I'm like, she's still on the plane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told so many people. I was like, you'll never believe. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, we waited three hours. <sighs> um, yeah, because it was about 2.50, 3 o'clock. And we landed at about 12. Whoa. And they were there being like, there was 156 of you or something. And now there's like 49 left. Thanks for sticking it out with us. We're oh. going to take off soon. We just got fuel. <laughs> I was like, all right, boss, let's do this. So I was kind of low-key excited to just get a tiny flight from yeah. LA to Burbank. That sounded kind of fun. <laughs> so you only hear people, like famous people do that with helicopters. Oh, like, yeah. Like you can get a helicopter from LA to Burbank if you have enough money. Wow. But they, like two, I think it's two. Wait, so did you get on a different plane? No, we're on the same plane. They were going to send our original plane back. Mm. So then we're waiting and we're like, cool, we're going home. And then they clean up the cabin. We're about to go. And they were like, and Burbank just grounded all the planes. So we can't go. So don't worry. Now you can get your bags from baggage claim at LAX. And I'm like, okay, it took us like 30 minutes to get our bag. Because no, there we weren't on the schedule for the baggage claim. So they had to squeeze us in with another flight's bags. And oh then we had to catch the flyaway bus. I literally see our bus as we finally get our bags drive away. No. And I'm like, we have to wait like 25 minutes for the next bus oh or something. Oh my God, it's just we, never ending. <laughs> yep. We get on the bus, we get to Van Nuys. And oh, meanwhile, Josh's job is like, we, like they hired a new editor to start, yes, to start on Monday. Oh. And Josh had a drive ready for him that he needed to edit from. He was supposed to pick yeah. it up at 12. And at this point it's four. Oh no. So Josh had to have Isaac prep the drive and give it to the person. <sighs> so Isaac couldn't pick us up anymore because he had to like, help Josh with work. Oh no. And, yeah. And then um, we get an Uber home and we finally get into the door at 515. And I looked at him and I was like, remember when I said we should have driven and got in here at one? <laughs> Oh no, yeah, that's it would have been way cheaper. And the thing is, I just really wish like, there was no way we could have known this was gonna happen, but I wish we knew because Tucson to LA direct is so cheap and we wouldn't have had to drive two hours to Phoenix. That's right. So like, you guys were traveling for like eight hours or something. Well, 12. Josh left his house at five oh. and we got home at 5 15. 12 that hours Tucson to LA. It was insane. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I'm yeah. so glad you're here. You have a drink in hand. Thank you, thank you guys. Mm-hmm. And thank you for spending 34 minutes listening not to plants. <laughs> if you're still here, it's worth it. We've got some stuff That's prepped right. for you. That's right. Holly, do you mind telling the gang what we're talking about today? Absolutely. So, like the title, Hello Leaves, we are talking about what I have called spooky plants. Um, Yay! Whether they are toxic which is like ooh, uh-huh. scary ooh. or just kind of like look creepy or just like fit the theme i've mm-hmm. selected some plants that i think will be fun to talk about Yay! and i want to note um fern's youtube video she does a lot of like spooky youtube like planty youtube videos oh, this time of year so fun and she was talking a lot about like toxic plant so that's where i kind of got the idea from ah um, very cool um, yeah so if you guys haven't watched that Yay. make sure you watch her video it is so good awesome um, just- yeah and if there's time i have some spooky things that i didn't write down that they talk Ooh. about too okay good Yay! <laughs> okay you so number one holly absolutely okay i think this is called 
a Saracenia leucophila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's a carnivorous plant. I have a photo, which Angelica, is you have cool. the photo. Yes, I do. I have it right here. Look at that beauty. Those it's red, cool. deep red veins, red. like blood yeah. red. And I don't know why. It reminds me of um the Pan's Labyrinth monster. So that's what I Oh put my on god, the video. it does. It's photo. so good. This reminds me of the are they called pitcher plants? The pitcher plants. Little, yeah. This one's, this one's scarier than those. It's white with, like you were saying, red veins. And it's actually sometimes called the crimson pinch, pitcher plant. Um, mm. And it's obviously carnivorous. And I don't know. It, it kind of looks like a ghost with red veins. Like, I think it's so cool. It does. Um, and, dude, it's endemic to the southeast of uh, the United States. So, like, like I Florida. think Florida. Like, well, I I think, yes, like Northern Florida and like Louisiana and Mississippi. Okay. But it this doesn't look so like, cool. yeah, it totally looks like it would be in some sort of like rainforest, but nope, it's just right. in <laughs> little pitcher plants in like Hawaii and stuff, but I never saw this. Right. And these remind us, Holly, they eat bugs, right? They eat bugs. Um, they also eat like decaying leaves and stuff. Like you can find them like I think like this particular pitcher plant, like when I was doing research, is like sort of like understories or just like grow you know it grows low to the ground mm -hmm. um so i just think that's really cool and i think all carnivorous plants just look so cool for halloween like i even made a tiktok about it and i was they're like showing it cool. yeah they're so pretty um if you guys are looking for a good um instagram account to follow to learn more about carnivorous plants i really love california underscore carnivores oh they so posted good. this photo Yes, yes. So Very I believe cool. they, yeah, I believe that they are actually a nursery and they like grow and um, cultivate and sell carnivorous what? plants. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, so I have a question. Yes. Um. So just so I understand, when they eat bugs and decaying plants and or like leaves and things, is that like that plant's version of fertilizer? I think like would you not I wonder if you would fertilize it you know I what I mean um I don't know I, I'm not like too experienced on carnivorous plants like I right. do know they need like um not filtered water what is the other kind of water <laughs> uh, oh distilled distilled yes right 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 um, but I think you're right. I mean, that's basically how it gets its nutrients. It eats right. Bugs that and makes sense. Other things. So. <laughs> well, just so you guys know, if you want to visit California carnivores, it's in Sebastopol, California. And you want to know where that is? I ask. You ask. Oh, <laughs> yes, we do. It is in. I think it is near. Let's see. Is this San Diego? On. I kind of get like San Diego vibes. It's actually north. It's north of San Francisco. Even it's near oh. Santa Rosa. Like it's wrong. <laughs> It's pretty high up there. Yeah. It's yeah, it's just like maybe like 45 minutes north of San Francisco. Nice. So for you nice. Northern California people, it's very close to you. Yes. Check them out. And just like I love their Instagram account. Like there are so many cool carnivorous plants that I yeah. obviously like, I never knew existed. Like I they're the only ones that I know of who like have such cool species and stuff. So it's, check them out. It's um, really special. I when I there if I want to see that because that's just really really cool totally yes <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. what do we have next okay next we have I think tell me what tell me what you think Angelique I okay. always think of this plant as a Halloween plant since the first time okay, I saw tell it me. and it's called the starry night petunia so it's the flower um it's specifically so it's yes so it had like speckled Yes. Okay. It's called Starry Night, and it really does kind of look like a starry night. Like, so That's if you guys gorgeous. are, yes, to describe it, <laughs> it's a purple flower. It kind of just looks like, just like a sort of like basic flower, like an annual type plant, but it's purple and it has like these white speckles that really look like almost not like the Thai constellation, but I think of like a starry constellation, you know? For um, sure. And it has that Halloween sort of color palette too. Totally. Like, I always think of purple as, like, a really good Halloween. I mean, like, even my cup has, like, lots of purples, you know? Oh, I so, love that. I just think it's cute. It's, like, a very cutesy take on, like, a Halloween-themed 
plant. <laughs> I like it. And yeah, it has like, the element, you know? Yes, that's what I was going to say. It has this <laughs> sort of like fairy tale aspect to it, if that makes sense. Totally. Yes. Is this a plant that flowers year round? Do you know? You know, I don't know. It's not really grown as a house plant. Okay. And, but it's very common. So I'm sure people listening are screaming at us, like, yes, it's or no. And like, you know, let us you, know, guys. Let please. us know. <laughs> there's a lot of oh, there's also like a deep black petunia, which I think like any dark Ooh. flower, like the dark black anthurium flowers like any of those like scream halloween to me i don't know about yes, you which makes me think of the zz raven i think that's a great statement piece for halloween yes. too because like I, yep. I mean hello just look at it and the fact that it's that it's alive ever doesn't make sense to me like it doesn't think anything and to me that's pretty spooky if you will yes so yeah it's a gorgeous plant oh. so we're kind of getting into I'm, the toxic plants and i'm but... excited for this one. Oh, cool okay so on fern's video she briefly mentioned foxglove and i always thought foxglove it's um an outdoor flowering plant i always thought it's so beautiful like and it's i feel so like i've beautiful. seen it in bouquet and stuff I think so totally yeah. and it's really like when you hear the term like cottage garden or cottage theme landscaping I feel like this is always in that but yes along with foxglove there's another type of like wild flower that's also very similar and it is super toxic so foxglove like all parts of the plant are toxic the leaves the oh. flowers um, the seeds. So it's so gorgeous too. So pretty, but it's crazy because it, it, it causes some type of like cardiac like problem. So it oh can my, like, like your heart. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I so, it, I wonder if it can induce a heart attack if ingested. I know. Right. Um, I was thinking of like, um, well, cause the crazy thing, um, it's also used in medicine for people who have like congestive heart, heart failure. failure. So interesting, pretty crazy. But dude, I don't know if you remember on Dexter season seven with um, Hannah McKay, that character who uh, poison people. I have not seen the show, but I heard it's amazing. My oh, best friend okay. watches it, so this is a good Easter egg moment. Exactly. Okay, so she uses a wild flower that grows in her because she owns a nursery. Funny enough, um, but she's like a killer, and she poisons oh. people with the flower. Um, the fox glove. They never come out and say it, but they show clips that look very similar to fox glove and to the plant that Fern had mentioned on her YouTube channel. I'm just blanking on the name, but it oh, has yeah. like that. Um, I'll show you guys if you're watching on YouTube. It has like a very like. Um, long structure kind of like a tower like or almost yes. like a christmas tree like it gets it's wide and it, it gets more narrow huh it reminds me of like little like trumpets or horns yes. the way it sticks out the flowers I, yeah the little flowers totally so they both look very similar and in the show in dexter they're like these like purple flowers that look very similar to foxglove so it's probably more so like the one fern mentioned which is um referenced a lot in pop culture and i guess it's been like written about since like the 1700s and oh God, um they used it to like kill their husbands back then probably yes and i think <gasps> it's mentioned in game of thrones like that. yeah super <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> um That's crazy i know right like who would oh. think like such a beautiful plant being like so toxic <laughs> also like imagine how people figured it out i know that's so crazy <laughs> yes i know wow. right well um, the next one we have is a classic poison ivy poison ivy that's when you, you learn about as a kid <laughs> yes <laughs> um and i guess it's like it so you guys know what poison ivy is you get like an itchy reaction if you touch it and i guess it's like caused by like a clear liquid that's like in the plant um oh, like in the sap in the sap yes oh okay and so dude i first thought of like um adding poison ivy to the list because i have poison ivy in like on my property growing and I'm just, man, it's so scary you but, have to be careful with storm when you walk her and stuff well so it's a vine. So it actually grows like up trees and like they do a really good job of like keeping the property like very clean and like mowed. So not really because she would have to go into like the jungle or like the wooded areas to like oh, really gotcha. have a problem. Okay. 
But there has been times where, like, we had to move some alocasias that were growing by, like, this tree. I remember. The big ones. Yeah, the big ones. And then we moved them over to, like, the wood lines. And, yeah, there's tons of, like, poison ivy. So I'm like, oh, my God. I'm scared. But, like, oh, I was totally fine. So. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, they're in Florida. <laughs> Remind me, though, you can – you don't normally die from it as long as you treat it, right? No, but the crazy thing is, like, the reaction can start or is delayed from, like, 12 to 48 hours and can last up to, like, three weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. Not so fun of, like, all. itchy reactions. That's crazy. I know. It's so scary. Oh, I did not know that. Wow. Yeah. So the oh next gosh. plant, I picked this because – I was thinking, okay, a scary plant that grows in Florida and a scary plant that I've seen grown a lot in California. I feel like and I've seen in Arizona too. In Arizona, the oleander plant. So mm -hmm. pretty but toxic. Like, dude, I think it's so pretty. But like when I I literally Googled most toxic plant in the world and this plant came up. <laughs> You're lying. I know. Like, what? And of course, like, we can't trust everything we see on Google. But, like, I've known since I was a kid that this plant is toxic. Like, I just knew. But then. Yeah, I remember. Doing further research, apparently a single leaf is enough to kill an adult. What? <laughs> yeah. So oh terrifying. Oh, my God. I yeah, know. I worry about, like cats and stuff that cats and dogs and yeah oh my but, god and i remember when i would like pick the flowers like it's just yeah i feel like i saw this at my elementary school like that's crazy <laughs> mm -hmm. so crazy but wow. um and it's known for it's like soft pink flowers if you guys for those of you watching you can see it here yep yep wow um, no yeah oh. oh it's it's cultivated here in california often Yes. So I don't, I think, I can't remember where it's natively found, but it's mm -hmm. just very common, like in California okay. and Arizona. So. I'm guessing you can touch the leaves. You just can't ingest the plant, right? But I think now. Yeah. Because for them to have it around the school, I mean. I know. Well, I mean, your skin is an organ. So like there's, mm -hmm. people say that like, if you like, whatever touches your skin gets like all throughout your body but right. I have like touched this plant before and I've never had any issues but well, I guess if you're like rubbing it in like, yeah, like oil. maybe that's a little different you know yes so don't do that <laughs> but wow. yeah the other um plants that I just wanted to give like a fun honorable little honorable mention honorable mention <laughs> is I always have to mention this like I've made like a bunch of like Halloween content throughout the years and I always have to talk about the euphorbia white ghost I mean, it's hello like a little ghost like the little and arms it's so beautiful oh my god gorgeous like mm -hmm. seriously so gorgeous um so I always like put that on like TikTok lists or like whatever um so pretty because it's also like I love how it's just like stark white you know what yes. I mean it's just so oh cool. my god but sometimes like the softest hint of like a soft green or anything no like, and then so sometimes it's like pink if it's in enough sun like the little tips of like the yes. you know, leaves sometimes yeah 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 oh my god so cute um, I love that then, my dream is I have a big one. Oh my god have you seen Becca's no, I haven't. Oh my gosh, I'm sure I'm you guys excited. are following Becca De La Plants. She has like a, I want to say it's like a six foot. Okay, maybe it's a four foot. <laughs> like wow, tree. Like a mature and, one. Yes, she said that she got it um in Tucson off of Craigslist. And I think it was like, I don't know how much she paid for it, but she, it was like a steal. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Cool, huh? Wow. Oh my God, she's so lucky. Yes, I just have like like a small one that our friend Aurora gave to us. Okay, I think she gave oh, me. I have one from her too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hers, I think hers has arms now. I think yours might have an arm too, doesn't it? It's a little bait. It's a hand. <laughs> oh, little hand. <laughs> Hands connected to its shoulders. Just like, like a little penguin. Like, <laughs> like a T-Rex. It's like a T-Rex. That's so cute. So cute. Oh my God. That's very funny. And then obviously we mentioned Raven ZZ. I didn't Raven even realize ZZ. you had that guy listed. So good. so good. So good. And then I love black orchids. Yes. So pretty. So My God. like alien-like, you know? I know. It's really so cool. true. And like any like black flowering plants, like we mentioned, like there's like a dark anthurium flower. Um, right. So gorgeous. Also, you know what? Thinking about this too, there's an anthurium flower that's like, 
white with like pink and red like splotches. It almost looks like blood splatter, you know? Ooh, that sounds cool. Splatter. Is it splatter or spatter? <laughs> I feel like I'd go with splatter with a strong L, I think. Right. Because <laughs> I was watching Dexter and they were talking about this because he's a blood spatter annulus. Well, you could spatter. So yeah, I think spatter works too. Spatter. Like yeah. And they were like, no, it's spatter, not splatter. I, I don't know. Something like <laughs> Oh, look, here we go. Spatter definition covered with drops or spots of something. Oh. There you go. And then what's the, what's splatter. The, what's, the, what's the splatter definition? <laughs> Splash with a sticky or vicious liquid. <laughs> oh. Vicious liquid. Vicious. Wow. We've all experienced a vicious liquid. Unless I, unless I how do you spell vicious? Is it V-I? Oh, girl, don't ask me. This says V-I-S-C-O-U-S, but that seems... I'm such a dummy. I can't spell it. Okay, hold on. I thought vicious. Maybe I thought it was different, but hold on. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! This is viscous. Viscous, having, which means having a thick, sticky consistency between <laughs> solid and liquid, having a high viscosity. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Wow. Okay. okay well. <laughs> And word of the day with Holly and Angelique. Yay! <laughs> Viscous. Wow. Viscous. I guess spatter makes more sense for like blood spattering. Blood spattering. Splatter yeah. seems more aggressive, more viscous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, well, do you think of any other scary plants? Plant I wanted to talk about as far as you pop do. culture goes. Yes. Any of you theater people, which it has been made into film as well, you'll know Little Shop of Horrors mm -hmm. very well. And the antagonist of that story is Audrey Two, or Tui was is like her nickname for short. And she's a cross between a Venus flytrap and a butterwort plant. Oh, a butterwort. And, yeah. yeah. She requires human blood to survive. And Whoa. in the musical, the plant's origin is from outer space. But in the movie, um, she was called Audrey Jr. So I don't know where Audrey <laughs> Jr. is from. But yeah, she's like a really fun mix between a Venus flytrap and a butter war. And obviously the Venus flytrap is another carnivorous plant. So if you're into TV or film or theater and you know that show, like, that one I think deserves an honorable mention. Yes. And I feel like we see spooky plants all over with TV. Like you see like vines move and be able to grab people and things yes. like that. It's always so cool, you know? I think of like Tim Burton. Like I'm sure Tim Burton is yes. being like, yeah, like you're saying, like the vines just like creeping along, like almost yes, like snakes. Totally. Yes, a hundred percent. I think it's so cool. The other thing I wanted to say. If I have not completely spaced, the margarita is hitting, guys. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. There was something I wanted to say, and now I forgot. Oh, no. Was it about a plant or pop culture? I think it was about a plant, about a spooky oh, no. plant. One that we had talked about, though. I wanted to add something. Oh, maybe I, I think maybe I wanted to say this. Who knows? I'll go with it. Okay. I feel like a lot of alocasias have a spooky vibe to them. Oh yeah, like dark ones like I think the Regal Shield and and oh yeah. the Black Magic and even the Capria I would say. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it looks so alien like. Mm -hmm. Actually, sorry, the Black Magic is a Colocasia, but well, you know whatever. <laughs> They're so similar, and they like grow in water and stuff, which they is so grow weird. in water. Yes, yeah, I think that's so cool. Yes. Okay. Have you seen the TikTok? Like the TikToker, um, they make spooky lakes content like on lakes and like i don't that know you so said it, cool. i know when you said it like grows in water i was like oh my god <laughs> hello hello <laughs> scary. and we have a pond like in our uh property and i'm like man i want to grow those like um we have alocasias that just like pop out of the water so i'm like oh that you so should cool. grow calocasias or ca mm -hmm. that what they're called call yeah. Colocasias, yeah. Whatever. 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 That would be really cool. You should. I know. It'd be really cool. It's just such a big pond that it's like, I don't know if it would like stand out, you know? <laughs> no, I get you. But I mean, who knows? I think they look really pretty. Mm -hmm. These aren't spooky, but I feel like there's a, I don't know why. I think lily pads have a spookiness to that. <laughs> so like, I, I, feel lily like, pads. I feel like coming upon a lily pad at night would be like, ooh. ooh. Like, I feel like I would walk on it thinking it was a step. 
Oh, yes. I don't think they want to be scary, and I don't think they are scary. I think it's a me problem. <laughs> I just think, like, they are deceiving a little bit, you know? I don't know why that gave me a visual of, like, the Princess Bride when they're, like, walking through, like, the marsh, like, like yes! at nighttime, and yes. there's like, those creatures that jump out. Like, I, I don't know. They were, like, in water, but <laughs> right. it reminded well me of that. Oh my God, you just made me think of another plant that I think makes good honorable mention. Yes. Um, I think air plants in general could fit the bill, but specifically Spanish moss. Oh, I, yes. went to, I think I told you guys I was going to Disneyland this past month for a spooky, spooky Disney Halloween. And for those of you that don't know, because I sure didn't, I thought Disneyland just makes their decor Halloween themed. I didn't know that they ever like change some of their rides to be spooky. Oh, fun. I don't know if you have been during Halloween. I have. Yeah. It's been a while. Oh my God. I didn't know that Haunted Mansion became Nightmare Before Christmas. So I think, isn't it always Nightmare Before Christmas? No. When it's not the holidays, when it's not Halloween and Christmas, it's just, it's literally just like the Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion. Oh, so, okay. Because yeah. oh, I, I remember years ago, it used to just be straight up scary. Just like yes. ghosts. And that was Haunted Mansion alone. Yes. And then when I went to Magic Kingdom in Disney World, it's still like that. So I was expecting to see Jack Skellington. Oh. And I'm like, oh, no, wait, this is scary. Oh. <laughs> just, oh. Haunted Mansion. I'm no. like, oh, this yeah, is it was scary. <laughs> It was so cute as Nightmare Before Christmas. And they yes. had red moss hanging from all the trees as you oh, were waiting. It makes and I think they're kind of spooky. Yes, like you're in a forest at night, almost like in um uh oh fuck, what is that called? Snow White. When she's like, Yes, 100 percent at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. They're so amazing. Yeah, I oh. think Spanish moss is scary, especially because there's when you find Spanish moss in the wild, there's bugs in them, like scary little. Ew. Red oh. bugs. Yeah. How are they red? I don't know. Uh, they're microscopic, I think. They're called like I don't even uh, know they're there. I'm trying to remember what like a local person called them. Like what are they called? Like chiggers or something? They sound they sound like a party. It's they're scary. Or jiggers? Oh, Jigger? here we go. Chigger mites. Yes. <gasps> yeah, they're in Spanish moss. Only Not target and feed on humans during their larval stage. Ugh. They do not remain attached to their host for more than a few days. Do not spread. Where do they go? Hold on. Oh, so rude. I just. <laughs> I'm like biting my nails. I'm like. Scared. I know. I'm sorry because I had a preview on um, Google and then to keep reading, I had to move. Um, wait, <laughs> where did my information go? Okay. <laughs> Okay, the larval stage is the only parasitic stage of a mite's life cycle. Um, they complete one life cycle in about two to three months. How sad. Oh. In favorable climates, they may complete three generations per year. Okay, they love... In Florida. Yeah. Their preferred hosts... Of the lar the preferred hosts of the larvae are people, snakes, birds, and many species of small mammals. Ugh. They penetrate. They, ugh. Maybe they you can oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was we should say, have talk about pests this episode. I know. I was going to say, maybe we should, like, Google, like, Spanish moss mites. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me see. Oh, my God. These ones inject a secretion that breaks down and digests the skin cell. Ugh. And they fuck up the digested liquid. Trigger warning bugs. <laughs> Not, oh like, cause death. Like, no, we have a trigger warning for bugs. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, oh let's see if I can God. find it. That oh my gosh, crazy. dude, that's like too much. Spanish moss is preferred by red bugs, also known as chiggers. That's them. Yes. Ugh, they are small mites, which are they're considered arachnids. They're closely related to spiders, <sighs> ticks, and scorpions. They <gasps> grow under the skin and cause intense itching and pain. <sighs> nope, nope. So okay, I yes. that's why I don't like Spanish moss because I think of that. <laughs> Oh my god! What if it's getting all over my ukulele? No, because they actually treat the Spanish moss that you buy in stores. Oh it's just the ones like in the wild. Like so in Disneyland my might be covered in chiggers. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're not around on the West Coast. Like they probably imported the probably clean like ones. Climates, maybe. Yeah. So they imported like clean ones to Disneyland and everything's okay. 
they let some of them die and they were just like brown hanging things. And I was like, oh, that is spooky. <laughs> like, wow. Dead plants. That is so crazy. Oh my God. Yeah, guys. I feel like we should have talked more about pests, which are Next very year. spooky. <laughs> it, send us your favorite pest that you guys want us to talk about sometime. That could be pretty scariest. Fun. Yes. Oh my god, your scariest pest. We <laughs> should do an episode, Holly, where we like get microscopic zoomed in photos and we talk about them all. Oh my god, ew. Ooh. Have we done a pest episode? Ha- have we done a pest episode, guys? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think we have. We like one dedicated one. Yeah, like maybe we could do like a brief one on like the major like top four house plant pests or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then if you guys want us to go into like more deeper like detail of each one yeah. oh my god we should yeah. see, like we can talk about this off air but like it regional what to expect where that sort of yeah thing. oh i get yeah. the creepy crawlies i know okay well holly before i let you go do you have any plans for this weekend for halloween you know i think we're just gonna watch a movie we're just gonna watch a scary movie and because we live in the country like it's very rural so we don't get trick-or-treaters apparently have you seen the movie trick or treat no i watched it a few weeks ago and i'm not i'm not good with scary movies but there's some like if the story is fascinating enough i'll watch it i just don't want constant blood but trick-or-treat is like a really excuse me a really dark campy horror comedy whoa it's okay very niche and like yeah it's you're watching it you're gonna be like what the hell am i watching and when you get to the end you're gonna be like oh and it's <laughs> it's funny but it's it is there is some blood in there but if you guys want something new to watch that maybe you haven't seen, yeah that's a good one i ended up being pleasantly surprised i went into it expecting it to be terrifying and it wasn't really there was a few jump scares of course but it, it kind was of more like, fascinating to watch right it kind of kind of sounds like like the evil dead like mm. movies tyson the loves house, those movies um oh, no, that's um no evil dead with um I gosh, I don't even know. Tyson has it like tattooed. I, I, I does he really? Many, he does. Oh, a, oh like one, actually, Evil like Dead, new Army of Darkness. Like, yes, yes. I know what you're talking about. I'm talking funny. about who did it? I think it was Rob Zombie. He did House of a Thousand Corpses. It oh, is, that sounds familiar. Oh yeah, it's weird. It's it's scary. Weird. Um, yeah, for sure. Fun scary movies. What? I like fun, scary movies. I don't want it to be too scary. I want to watch like Halloween Town or like oh my God, Halloween like, Town. Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Hocus Pocus. So yeah. I, Josh has never seen the Twilight, the Twilight movies. Oh, and he, said, he said as a joke, like you want something the, campy. Yes, like for the laugh. I was like, he's never seen Twilight. He's like, yeah, it was like a girly movie, and like I never read the books. Like, why would he? You know, even that. Yeah, and I was like. <laughs> they're so addicting to watch because it's trash but it's so good it's and it's like, like first one. well that's i told him i was like that's to what to me is what's funny because i can understand not having a budget for a movie so it so i understand why the first one looks the way it does but then to see how different it is to the second movie is what makes it funny <laughs> Dude, oh, I God. loved Twilight. I read all the books when I was in high school. Me too. I went at midnight and saw the movie, and I'm watching it. And I'm like, no, this can't be it. <laughs> I literally, so I went at midnight to like the, you know, like the fourth book. Oh, it was yeah. Like, it was either part one or part two. And like, we're seniors in high school. And my friends and I are like, yeah, let's go at midnight, like treating it like Harry Potter. Like, yeah. and we go. We, they do a midnight showing and literally they couldn't even fill up the room. Oh, it was so bad. Well, but, I remember uh, people were over it by like breaking dawn part one. Like I saw part one and I never saw part two. You never <laughs> finished it, Holly. <laughs> oh my God. I implore you. Well, because I was already like so 20 funny. something by the time it came like, out. I don't have time for this. I'm I need like, to I have to need to bills. <laughs> I'm like, I need to stop. I need to get through school. <laughs> I have to focus. I was but what are like, oh. no? Please go ahead. No, go. Ahead. I was going to talk about Robert Pattinson. At least you got to look at him <laughs> and Taylor Lautner. At least what Taylor are you say? Dude, I was always Team Edward for the books until I watched the movie. I'm like, I am Team Team. Uh, um, what, what's his name? Team Jacob. 
Jacob, Jesus. I was going to say Team Taylor. Team so Jacob. So hot. Mm. Oh, my That's God. Good. I literally looked up recently. I was like, where is Taylor Lautner? Edward, like Taylor Lautner. Woof. <laughs> I'm just like, like, give me Robert Pattinson with some color on his face. You know, oh, just too I'm white. Like, dude, I love vampires. Like, True Blood. Like, oh, my God. Bill Compton. Oh, my God. Ooh. You're a vampire gal. Oh, I love vampires. But. Tyson, yeah. are you listening? <laughs> he knows. It's okay. <laughs> Anywho, I was gonna ask you, what are you doing this weekend? Any Halloween plans? Yes. Anything fun? So, not sure if I'm gonna look like this or not. I haven't decided because <laughs> this this um this wig's a rental. So, <laughs> um, but you know, Matt, our very first guest on the show, yes, his best yes. In town from the East Coast, and Matt was like, "Can we do something for Halloween?" Like, my friend loves Halloween. How fun! I talked to Josh. We're gonna do a small shindig um, the day after tomorrow, this coming Saturday, and I'm really excited because the girl I take care of, she loves looking at little magazines. She's like one, Aww. and her mom got like a home and garden Halloween edition. Fun. I freaked out. I took pictures of almost every page because it was really easy recipes for things. So I'm nice. going to buy um, colored chocolate wafers or whatever. Right. Okay. And I'm going to melt them and into these mold. They're like Oreo molds. So you Cute. put them, at, you melt them, put them on the bottom and then you put an Oreo in it. It coats the Oreo and then you put, you also put it on top. And then you let it get cool in the fridge and then you pop them out and then you add little candy eyes to them and you make little Ooh. creatures and things. And I want to get white as well so I can do like little uh, mummies and stuff. Oh, and, ghosts. Oh and I'm going to do like spiders and things. So I'm going to make those for the treats. And then I'm also buying plastic, just like little plastic um, eyeballs. Oh, and fun. we're going to dispenser, our clear dispenser for juice and stuff. We're going to make like a spooky punch. Cute. And I'm going to try to include um, edible glitter so that it, it <gasps> glitters all fun. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try to make it purple oh and we're going to have God. eyeballs floating in it. And then I'm going to do a photo corner with my ring oh, light. Dude. Oh really my God. Great. Oh, you have, oh, that's awesome. I wrote out a list of things I want to do and I have bought nothing. So next time we all talk, I might have not done any of this. But that One is a report on the Halloween party. <laughs> Let me see if I can find my notes. Okay, here we go. It's um, <laughs> if anybody needs last minute ideas for this weekend, this is me... a really good idea. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna the spooky punch is plastic eyeballs for floating spookiness is what I wrote. Um, I might include plastic spiders, but I don't know. If, I don't know if they're gonna float Cute. or not. Edible cocktail glitter. You can um, if you go I've to heard Hobby of those. Lobby, at Hobby Lobby, they have this thing called um edible luster dust so i'm gonna try to get that and nice. if not maybe try to get silver stars that um that glitter as well they're edible yes and maybe I'm going you get them to light up or something yeah oh my gosh that'd be so cool so yeah that's one idea and then for the photo op i want to get like the paper bats that you had from amazon oh, yes. amazon yep yeah i i need to order thing i need to order them um <laughs> I want to do those um, Halloween color streamers. I think Matt's bringing some string lights that are like purple and orange and stuff. Yeah. And then I thought about if I have any film friends that have any gels for like mm -hmm. lights. I just mm -hmm. want to cover our recessed lighting with like orange gels. Yes. No, you know what, dude? I went to a Christmas party and yeah. it was in the industry too. And they put little squares like of gels over all the lights in their house. It looked so good. So cute. It was so we smart. Did that for a Halloween party a couple years ago when I had roommates and it was so good. Yeah, it's really fun. It's it's perfect Amazing. if you have recess lighting. Like we have like the tit lights, like the boom. Oh yes. <laughs> lots, of, lots to cover. But we have like smart bulbs in them. So like yeah, we usually change all the colors, but it's yeah. a really great, like if you have like a kitchen light or something that you need just like boop, yeah. like a couple little gel on. So. so fun. I need yeah. to see if I can just like find gels because my my gel plug moved back to Arizona. So I'm like, <laughs> man, what can I do? I'll see if I find nothing if anyone has something in the industry. Yeah. Or so cool. no, at uh, what's it called? Pro Tools, right? Yeah, Is that, yeah Pro Tools. They have, or no, Film Tools, Pro Tools. Oh, my God. Pro Tools is the software. I was like, where? Software. <laughs> film Tools? Is this a place in LA? Right? 
Oh yes, yeah, film tools. Um, oh, they, it's a mm -hmm. they have, I think, like samples. Yeah. Like it's a right next to Costco. Uh huh. Yep, dude. I used to go there all the time when I would be like buying stuff for like my kit or whatever. Um, that or you can go to. What's the, there's another one in Burbank. I'm blanking on the name. You can but just they're like really, walk in. Yeah. 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 I'll they're go just, tomorrow. It's expensive, but like I think they have like a sample book or something like that. So that's amazing. I'm yeah. gonna do and I'll let you guys know next time because that would be yes. really fun. So I'll post pictures if we do do it. Um, I think it's going to be really cool. I don't want to go too crazy because we're not going to invite a lot of people. It's going to be like 10 or less probably. But I love to like, you know, make things thematic and stuff. So I'm excited. Oh, yeah. And for the yeah. pictures and memories alone, like it's totally worth it. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Aww, well, I cool. hope you have fun. Keep us all posted on how everything went. Yes. Happy mm -hmm. Halloween, everyone. Be yes, safe. Guys. Happy have Halloween. Have so much fun this weekend. Yes. Have a great time. And really quick, Holly, where can the people find you? Yes. You guys can find me at Concrete Botanical underscore on Instagram, Concrete Botanical on TikTok. And then we have Shop Concrete Botanical on both Instagram and TikTok and ConcreteBotanical.com for my shop. Awesome. And you guys can find me at Suck Up for Plantas with two C's. You can also catch the podcast, a Breeze Botanical podcast on Instagram. We drop new episodes usually every Tuesday on <laughs> Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, <laughs> Spotify, Google Podcasts, and iHeartRadio Radio with YouTube as well. And we're catching up on our YouTube. So watch all the videos. They're so much fun. Yes. Yeah, you guys. Oh, you can all an old that baby. You can also email us at boozebotanicalpodcast at gmail.com. So if you have any questions or want to chat, Chat, just shoot us an email or a DM. Ah, be our friend. Send us an email. Please. We love it. And thanks, guys. Definitely leave us also a five-star rate and review on Apple Podcasts because we really appreciate Great. it. Please. Aww, well, thank you guys so much. Happy Halloween. And on Happy that Halloween. Halloween. Cheers, guys. I'm Coach Steve. <laughs> <laughs>